Hi, I'm Lamin Sonko and I have to tell you the roots with lots of proof is simply Africa Media Australia. Hi everyone, welcome to Africa Media Australia. This is your girl Stephanie 101 with Stephanie. I am super excited because I'm sure if you've been following us closely, we've promised that we're going to bring you or introduce to you one African is doing something spectacular within their community. Today I'm super excited because I've got Lamin. Lamin is a Senegalese from West Africa. He is a multi-instrumentalist, multi-talented musician. He is a poet, a storyteller, a writer, a drummer. I am very excited to have him in the studio today. Welcome to the studio, Lamin. Thank you, Stephanie. Not forgetting to mention that you're born into a family of musicians as well. That's right. I come from a big family of musicians in Senegal. Your mom was the first Yeah, dancer. my mom was one of the first female dancers in Senegal who has traveled all around the world presenting African and Senegalese culture. I'm super excited. Before we go any further, I want to commend you on what you're wearing. I think it looks amazing. Beautiful, yeah. Very it's beautiful. A, it's a nice West African outfit. It's a cultural wear from Senegal, That's isn't it? That's right, yeah. Wow. It's a cultural outfit. Yeah. I know you've been in Australia for the past 10 years now. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about your journey. Wow, I um, come to Australia in 2004. And um, ever since I arrived here, I come and wanted to continue doing my culture, presenting the work I learned from my parents. And from there, I start doing drumming and dance, da uh, dancing classes. Also, um, being part of so many different uh, community activities. It's a good thing though, I know, because I read extensively about your family. It's a good thing because your family is like, there's this music team running in, in your family and they're all around the world. Mm -hmm. What did you leave Senegal and why did you come here? Why did you come with your music to Australia? Well, you know, when, you, when you're an artist and you're a musician, music takes you places. And Australia is, let's say, one of those places, you know, and I'm very happy to be here. And since I've been here, uh, I really, you know, see, you know, how they really open the doors to, the, to, to African music and all other music. And uh, I will say being very lucky to be part of, you know, Australia. That is a good thing you do. I know you, you're, not, you're such an, an educator. You take African music to schools, universities, primary education. You teach them how what African the accents of African music. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the projects you've been, you've been involved with? Yeah, coming coming from a family of Giriot, known as culture keeper. Giriots are the eyes and the ears of the community. They tell the story of the past to the future generation. So, I take that work to schools, primary schools, and you know put those stories with music, drumming, and dance and share it to kindergartens, you know, primary, secondary, and university, and I'm very proud. You to, do to with so much that. uniqueness. I've watched a few of your videos. I think they're amazing. The okay. way you come down to earth, you teach them, and I think they invite with a lot as well. That's African right. music is so huge, and mm -hmm. to be able to bring it to Australia, I think, is a great work you're doing. But before we go any further, I want to congratulate you. Congratulations for being nominated as an ambassador for multicultural arts here in Victoria. Wow. How does that make you feel? I'm super excited. I'm not the one that was nominated, but I'm <laughs> getting excited for you. How does that make you feel? You know, give me a bit of a uh, courage to keep on doing, you know, what I'm already doing. And uh, since I met the CEO, Jill Morgan, from Multicultural Art Victoria, let's say 10 years ago, she really helps, you know, lots of artists to become themselves. And I, I become one of it through March Cultural Art Victoria. I was nominated as a MIV uh, Cultural Ambassador for the Melbourne Festival coming up very, very soon. So yeah, I feel very privileged to be nominated. Uh, they choose us as ambassadors so uh, we can link our communities with, with the festival yeah. to really share it around and make sure we you know, tell our people in our community and tell them about what's happening so they can come and really experience what Melbourne Festival have to offer. Yeah. I've actually been stalking you. Sorry. <laughs> um, you, I don't know how you get the time to do all the things you do. How mm. do you fit it into your life? You're a drummer, you're a storyteller, you're a writer. Mm -hmm. You play guitar and all those. Mm -hmm. And you also educate people about African music. At the same time, you're part of like four different groups. Wow. You're part of the African intelligence group. You're mm -hmm. part of the Afro pop. Mm -hmm. How do you get the time to fit this or fit all this into your life? You know, when you have, when you love what you do and it's a passion that really uh, recharges your soul. You know, you really carry yourself and want to share it with with people. 
and all these different bands that I play with, they all present different part of African music. And to be honest, I feel very happy doing it, and I'm I'm really happy that I get to connect and work with other people from different part of Melbourne or Victoria or Australia, let's say. So, yeah, the time comes because the love is there. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Senegal is proud of you. It's the whole of Africa should be proud of you, of what you do here in Australia. Thank Congratulations you. once again. Thank you very um, much. You're not just a live performer, which is a good thing. You've actually released a CD as well with your yeah. African intelligence group. Can you tell, tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, uh, uh, this, this band was formed, let's say, um, last September. And this is our first single called Light and Shine. And the single have two songs in it and it's available on iTunes. If people look under Lamin Sonko and the African intelligence, they will find the single on iTunes. We're going to do something, something different. I think he's just been telling us what he does. If you check him on YouTube, you see his spe spectacular performances. But today, just for you, just for you out there, I'm going to make him do something unique to you, um, unique right now that will show off what he really does. So he's going to be showing us a little bit of his skills. Africa Bolo Len, you leave it soon. New war, we are calling all citizens of this world. Break all the barriers, come and unite for a better future. New way, lay, 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 ma'am. Come, Africa, Africa. We are calling all citizens of this world Break all the barriers, come and unite For a better future Thank you. That was great. So that was uh, called Africa, is Africa, it? Africa, yes. Wow, that great. was beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Lamine. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you for so the much. invite, Stephanie. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Nice one. Well. And as for you out there, I hope you've enjoyed my little chat with the multi-talented Lamine. To find out more about him, check him out on Facebook and on YouTube. That's Lamine Songo. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Hi. I'm Lamin Sonko and I have to tell you the roots with lots of proof is simply Africa Media Australia. New <laughs>